Hello, in this session we will look at how we can uh, provide the necessary credentials for AWS so that our Terraform cloud can create the resources on the AWS platform. Now in the last session uh, we talked about an introduction or basically just an understanding about the provider credentials that can be used or that can be set up depending on the cloud platform you're using. Now since we are working with AWS we will look at how we can provide the credentials for the uh, AWS cloud platform. So before we start running the plan or apply stage on the Terraform cloud platform, uh, you will need to do the basic setup of the authentication. All right. So we will have to basically provide the uh, uh, authentication so that the Terraform cloud can create the resources on the cloud platform or the AWS platform in this case. All right. So you can use Terraform cloud's native open ID connect integration with AWS to get the dynamic credentials for the AWS provider in the Terraform Cloud Run. So in the last session, we discussed about um, how Terraform recommends using the dynamic credentials instead of using the static credentials. So these dynamic credentials are your uh, temporary credentials that your Terraform Cloud um, will, will get from your respective cloud platform. And these temporary credentials will be specific to the plan or the apply stage that we are doing. And once the plan or apply stage is completed, the temporary credentials will be destroyed. So every time we will do the plan or, or apply Terraform Cloud, uh, we'll make use of the temporary credentials to authenticate. So by default, uh, if you don't have any authentication, or let's say in, in our case, we are going to use this workspace, and this is integrated to my uh, repo. Now let's say I will start a new run, and let's say we will go and uh, plan and apply this. Now by default, if you don't have any authentication, this will fail, all right? So Terraform Cloud uh, will need to have the necessary authentication so that it can create the resources for us on the respective cloud platform. So again, this will, uh, you know, though it is a telling plan running, this will uh, show us the failure, telling that it is not able to find the necessary credentials. So you can see here, no valid credential sources for the Terraform AWS provider found. So basically it is telling me that um, I don't have the necessary authentication to create the resources. So this is where we will have to provide the credentials so that it can create the resources for us. So configuring the integration, the authentication integration requires the following steps. So we will need to do the configuration on AWS. So uh, we will have to create a trust relationship between AWS and cloud platform. Then we will need to create a role and attach the policy so that your Terraform Cloud can create the resources for us. And then we will have to configure the Terraform Cloud as well. So we will have to add a couple of environment variables in the Terraform Cloud workspace where you want to use the dynamic credentials. So once you complete this setup, Terraform Cloud automatically authenticates to AWS during each run. So we basically have to uh, create a trust relationship in AWS, create a role, and then add a couple of variables in the Terraform Cloud. All right, so this AWS provider authentication is valid for the length of the plan or apply. So whatever this uh, temporary credentials that your Terraform cloud is going to use, it will be valid uh, until the plan or apply completes. All right, so let's look at each, each, each of this one by one. So first is configuring on AWS. So you must enable and configure and open ID, connect identity provider and accompany role and trust policy on AWS. So for this, we can make use of the open ID connect uh, that we have in the AWS. So basically the identity provider and we can use that uh, to basically give the necessary permissions. So creating an open ID connect identity provider. So AWS documentation for setting up through the AWS console or API can be found in this below link. So here you have the steps for uh, creating the identity provider if you want to follow. In our case, uh, I will show you how you can do that. So here I have the IAM service and here we will have to first create the identity provider. So we'll click on add provider and we are going with the open ID connect. All right. Now for the provider URL, you will have to use this HTTPS colon slash slash app dot terraform dot IO. All right. That will be the provider URL. So app dot terraform dot IO and click on this get thumbprint. And for the audience, it will be aws.workload.identity. Okay, so this 
should be your audience. So AWS dot workload dot identity. All right. And then if you want to add a tag, you can add a tag and then finally click on add provider. So this will be step one, adding the open ID connect. All right. Step two will be to create an IAM role and define or uh, assign the necessary permission. So you must configure a role and corresponding trust policy. And again, Amazon documentation for setting up your role can be found here. So in our case, we'll go to the roles and we'll click on create a new role. And this will be for web identity. And here you should be able to see the uh, identity provider that we have created. So we'll select that. And again, the audience that we have provided, click on next, the permissions. All right, so what permissions you want this role to use? So depending on your use case, you can give. In my case, I'm going with the administrator access. Next, you can give a name to this. So let's say role for uh, Terraform Cloud. And here you can review. So this will be the trusted entities. So you can see we are allowing the action to assume role with uh, a web identity and who can use it and then the condition that we are defining and here is the permission so we are giving it the administrator access and then click on create role so this will be step two all right so again step one will be to create the identity provider step two will be to create a role and assign that identity provider to the role and step three will be to configure the Terraform cloud. So step one and step two, we do it on AWS. And then the third step, we will be doing it on the Terraform cloud. So you will need to set some environment variables in your Terraform cloud workspace in order to configure Terraform cloud to authenticate with AWS using dynamic credentials. So you can set this as workspace variables or if you would like to share uh, one AWS role across multiple workspaces, you can use a variable set. So we will be talking about your variable set in the upcoming sessions. For now, we will be setting up these credentials for a specific workspace. And uh, uh, these are the two variables that you'll have to add within your Terraform Cloud workspace. So TFC underscore AWS underscore provider underscore auth set to true. Uh, and this will tell your Terraform Cloud that it has to use this uh, identity provider dynamic credentials for the authentication. And then TFC underscore AWS underscore run underscore role underscore ARN. So here you'll have to give the IAM role um, ARN that you have created. So let's go to the Terraform cloud. And uh, for the specific workspace, we will go to the variables. And here we will be adding the variable. And we will be adding this as an environment variable. So the key would be you know this will be the first key so tfc underscore aws underscore provider underscore auth and the value should be true okay so we'll add this variable and then we will add one more variable which will be tfc underscore aws underscore run so tfc underscore aws underscore run underscore role the arn and then we will have to get the arn of the role that we have created and pass that to the Terraform cloud and add this variable. So these two variables we will need to provide within the Terraform cloud and this will um, make use of the dynamic credentials. So what will happen here, uh, Terraform cloud will use this IAM role, go to the cloud, get the temporary credentials and use that to create the resources for us. So now let me ra try running this uh, uh, plan once again. So we'll do a plan and apply. So we'll start this run. And now I should not get any authentication error and Terraform Cloud should be able to use the dynamic credentials in this case and generate the plan for us. And once we apply, it should go ahead and create the resources. So here you can see it is showing me the plan. Now it is not giving me any authentication error. It is able to use the IAM uh, details that I have given, all right, and it is able to authenticate, all right. So waiting for this to plan for this plan to uh, complete, and once the plan is completed, we can go ahead and apply this. So now we'll confirm and apply this, which will go ahead and create the resources for us. So this is how you can um, make use of the dynamic credentials for Terraform Cloud to authenticate 
to the respective cloud platform and create the resources for us okay so just waiting for this resources to be created so now if you go and check my ec2 service i should be able to see four new ec2 instances that will be launched so here under instances i should be um, give it a moment the instances are getting launched you can see i have four instances and all these instances are being launched by my terraform cloud all right so that's basically how uh, we can give terraform cloud the necessary authentication uh, to create the resources on the respective cloud platform all right so this is for um, aws so here you can see uh, it has created the resources for us and all of the resources are in the running status so once again what we do here is we first we create an identity provider and for the provider url we use https colon slash slash app.terraform.io for the audience we use aws.workload.identity then we create an iam role and attach the identity provider to this iam role and these two things will be done in the aws platform and then in the terraform cloud uh, we will be adding two environment variables so one will be tfc underscore aws underscore provider underscore auth and then we will have one more variable which is tfc underscore aws underscore run underscore role underscore arn which will be the arn of the im role and this will be set to true that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video